All right, so we're gonna do a quick video on acids. Um, again, remember that there's ternary and binary acids. Binary, just like binary covalent, two different types of atoms. Ternary, more than two, that simple, okay? Acids are always gonna have an H in front. I know some of you guys get confused with that. Acids will always have an H in front. Technically, if we're being realistic here, H2O, water, is technically an acid. Um, the definition gets a little bit more tricky, and we'll discuss that in chapter 13. But basically, an acid is anything that donates protons. It gives away hydrogens in solution. So in order to give away H's, it's going to need to have hydrogen in front. All right. Um, binary, you can see some examples here. Uh, HI, H2S, H2O, H3P, HCl, HBr, H3N. They're all going to follow this simple, simple formula. They're all going to be hydro. So hydro is the main uh, hint that it's going to be binary. We're going to have the element name. We're going to have ick, and then followed by acid. So hydro, the element name, we're going to chop off the end, put an ick, acid. Hydro, chop off the end of the element name, replace with ick, acid. So let's look, let's look at some examples. Okay. Hydro sulfuric acid. Some of you guys would see the ick and say, okay, maybe you guys remember that ick to eight and uh and us to i rule remember that that's only if there's no hydro if this is hydro simple 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 binary okay hydro sulfuric acid so hydro sulfuric acid what is it going to be like oh well, we see a hydrogen and we see a sulfur s2 minus remember it's in the six columns so it's going to have a two minus charge we're going to switch the two and say h2s that is hydro sulfuric acid hydro oxidic acid h2o water same thing, they're both in the same column. H plus, O2 minus, switch, H2O, water. Hydrophosphoric acid. Again, the hydro is telling us that's binary. It's going to be H and another element. So hydrophosphoric acid, H3P. How did I get that? Well, we start off with hydro, H, phosphoric. Hmm, that's phosphorus, right? P3 minus. Switch the two, H3P. It's as simple as that. Simple as that, okay? Uh, let's try one more, okay? Let's say HBr. What would this name be? Hydrobromic acid. We're just gonna take hydro. We see it's two elements, H and Br. Hydro, bromine, we're gonna chop off the end, ic acid, hydrobromic acid, okay? And you see the common theme here. We're just taking the element name, chopping it a little bit off, putting acid in the end, and of course the hydro up front. The hydro up front is what's gonna tell you that it's binary. So it's only gonna be hydrogen and another element, one element. Okay, so binary is pretty straightforward. I'm sure you guys can get the hang of that. Ternary can get a little bit tricky. Ternary can get a little bit tricky. Um, if, I'm, if we're looking at ternary, again, it's gonna be more than two atoms, two more than two different atoms. There's never gonna be hydro in front. You're never gonna see that. Hydro is only going to be for binary. Then you're going to follow the simple rule. Ick goes to eight. I goes to us. Simple as that. If I'm talking about hypobromite, the ion, hypobromite. And um, what charge would a hypobromite be? Let, let's think. Well, it's actually right here. So BRO minus. If we're going to make it into an acid, we're going to think about how many hydrogens are needed to cancel out this minus because remember that any compound all the compounds we went over they do not have a charge so in order to get rid of this charge and make an actual acid or a compound we have to get rid of this somehow so hbro is what we're going to end up with okay what if i gave you um something like uh phosphoric acid all right i actually have it written down here so phosphoric acid if we see phosphoric acid we notice there's no hydro in front no hydro, it's going to be ternary. If it's ternary, most likely going to involve a polytonic ion. Phosphoric acid, ick goes to eight, phosphate acid. Phosphate acid. So it's going to be comprised of a couple of H's, a certain amount of H's, and some phosphate. So PO43 minus, that's a phosphate group. We're going to think how many hydrogens are going to cancel this out. And obviously we're going to need three because each H has a plus one. And we're going to need three plus ones to cancel out this three minus. Or we can do H plus one, P 
PO4, 3 minus, and cancel them out. H, switch them out, PO4. Um, what about nitric acid? Let's look at nitric. What do you think it's going to be? So ich is going to go to 8. Ich will go to 8. Nitrate. What's the formula for nitrate? NO3 minus. So how many hydrogens is it going to need to balance out? This is a minus 1. H has a plus 1. We're just going to turn it to HNO3. What if I had nitrous acid? A little bit different than NO3 minus. It's going to be nitrous. Us goes to it. So it's going to be nitrite. So we're going to have an NO2 minus. We're going to use 1H in front. And we're going to make it HNO2. And that's the difference sort of between uh, ternary and binary acids. Binary, just the hydro. Hydro is going to be the main key. It's always going to end with ic. There's never going to be an us. So it's going to be hydro, element name, just the element name. Remember, no polyatomics in binary. Ic, acid. Um, hydrosulfuric acid, all that. Ternary, no hydro. You're going to have ic. Um, you're going to have ic or ite. So hypo, oh, sorry, you're going to have ic or ite and eight or us, okay? They'll mostly be, the acid will be in the form of of, um, of ic or us. I wrote this a little bit backwards, but it's either gonna be ic or us. That's what the, um, that's what they can be. And they'll either go to ite or eight. And that'll just tell you what it is. So I can, I can throw out anything. I can give you um, H2SEO4, for example. H2SEO4, um, what, what is the name of this? So let's let's work a little bit backwards. H has a plus one, so that means the SeO4 is gonna have a two minus charge. This is, it's gonna be SeO4 is selenate. So it's gonna go to selenic acid. 